Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come on here and run my mouth just for a little bit about the real house of Beverly Hills. Excuse me. And then I need to get off of here because I want to go see my nieces. I haven't seen my nieces in about... Well, we FaceTime each other. Um, but I haven't seen them um, in about three weeks. You know, I, I wasn't feeling too well about two weeks ago. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I was completely fine, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go see them. I'll be, I'm gonna hang out over there at my sister's house for probably about, probably about four hours. And then I'm gonna head back to this side of town and then uh, get ready for the live tonight. So if you did not know, we're going live tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I plan on having a good time. Um, so if you want to stop by, stop by. If you don't, <laughs> that's completely fine. I want to say this though. I completely understand that every channel is not for everybody. I have subscribed to channels to find out that we were not compatible, right? And I decided to unsub, right? Um, I completely understand that if you, you may not feel as though, okay, girl, we're not on the same page. So if you feel the need to unsub, I mean, you can unsub. It was fun while it lasted. I, I completely understand, again, because I have also, I think that some people forget that YouTubers are, are not are also, like we don't watch other YouTubers, right? I have my YouTubers that I watch, you know, there have been YouTubers before that I was like, oh, girl, I don't, this ain't for me. I don't leave a note. I don't send a smoke signal. I don't send a direct message. I don't send emails. I don't, I don't do any of that. I just unsub. If you feel as though this channel is not for you, then I suggest you do the same thing because what's not going to change over here is my opinion because it doesn't fit the popular opinion. What I think is what I think is going to be what I think. And if you don't like it, then I can't do anything about that. That's really not my problem. So anyways, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. All right. So Harry, Harry and Lisa are out shopping because Harry is going to cook for the girls. I don't care what nobody say Harry is sexy. Would I have sex with Harry? No. But do I want to be laid up with Harry while we drink uh half well, Harry, do Harry drink Harry look like <laughs> Harry look like he drink tea. <laughs> God, I want a long island. I he look like he drink tea and I want a long island iced tea. But would I want to be laid up with Harry while he read a book? Hello? And I'm over here on Instagram on the web because I'm going to be on, on the internet. He's going to be reading a book and drinking tea and I'm going to be drinking a Long Island Ice Tea. We're going to be playing footsie. Harry is sexy to me and he got a deep voice. Ooh. Um, Lisa, you might got you a good man, girl. And he likes to cook and he likes to clean. Yeah, let me tell you, I got this ring. Yeah. Um, Kathy Hilton. So Kathy Hilton allows... Erica and um, what's her name? Can't, what's her girl name? Crystal and two of their friends to come over to play tennis. Girl, Kathy, girl, Kathy look like she got a whole hotel. They look like a bed and breakfast, girl. Um, Kathy gets up at 10. Well, she comes to the door at 10 50 and lets the girls know that she just woke up at 45 minutes before. <laughs> I live for Kathy. Kathy got the lifestyle that I want. Kathy don't do nothing. Nah. Girl, Kathy don't do nothing but sleep late and get up and let you know, girl, I just woke up. And then she gonna tell you, don't come wake me up. When I get up is when I get up. Period. Hello? Um, so they're playing ten. Oh, when they played tennis, I thought it was cute. Erica really wasn't doing good. As far as I was concerned, it was two versus one. Hello, because Erica wasn't doing nothing but standing now. Um, Kyle is taking family photos. I think for uh, Christmas cards, um, they look like they they look like they turned out cute. Um, I did see that that wall. <laughs> no tea, no shade, Kyle. Girl, I know you got the money, and I know it's not a problem. But girl, that 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 when I saw that doll sitting beside that wall, 
Maybe that wall was dirty and needed to be repainted. Then I'm going to leave it alone. Um, Kathy lets us know that she has, uh, well, she lets Kyle know that she has spoken to Kim. Um, Y'all know that I just really got into Real Housewives of Beverly Hills last year. Um, but I have seen clips of Kim. And when I tell you, what's her name? Kim Hilton? Kim Richards? I don't know. But when I tell you, baby, Kim is that girl. <laughs> girl Kim will clear the table. That's what they need to bring back. It's Kim. Um, I don't think that Kim and Kyle are very close for the simple fact that she didn't even know that Kim had changed her number. Right? Like... Most of the time when people change their, change their number, I think they'll let the let, let the people know, hey, y'all, this is my new number, blah, blah, blah. So the simple fact that Kyle didn't know that Kim had changed her number, that makes me believe that they really are not that close. But um, Kathy says that Kim sounds like she's doing great. Um, Erica's rental home, her home is actually very, very cute. Um, she pays $9,500 a month to rent it out. <sighs> Um, Sutton stops by Oh, Lisa stops by And also Sutton Sutton stops by with a Dolce and Gabbana book um, I think Mr. Dolce signed the book himself uh, uh, Sutton is also featured in the book um, Sutton brings up The whole Word That Look Somebody said this online and I tend to believe it that Sutton is not going to come after Kathy because of basically social ranking like Sutton knows that Kathy is probably that girl within the what LA circle Beverly Hills circle so Sutton knows that she can't come for Kathy and I was like oh that actually makes sense because if anybody Sutton you should be pissed off. Yeah, you can be mad at Crystal, but Crystal said the word violate. Whatever. We're going to get into that in a little bit. But girl, Kathy is the one that keep calling you Tom Cedar, Peeping Tom. She even said it again to your face at Lisa's house. We're going to get into that in a little bit. So anyways, um, Garcelle is at home. I don't know what Garcelle was cooking. Look, Garcelle looked like she had some noodles, some ragu sauce, and some cheese. They didn't put it in the oven. <laughs> I was like, what is this? What is this? All right. Everybody, everybody, look, everybody eat differently, okay? Uh, one of the twins has an attitude. Uh, I thought it was funny when the twin came downstairs and the other twin was trying to do their homework and he looked up. Like, what is your problem? <laughs> he making all this racket, all this noise. Garcelle sitting at the table rolling her eyes while he's trying to eat. She sends a little boy um, upstairs. Um, Harry. Oh, Harry is cooking. So it's a, it's a day of the event. Um, on Garcelle's uh, birthday party. Because uh, I guess because of COVID, the COVID surges, they really couldn't celebrate. Now, girl, this, this is this is what I be talking about, girl. I keep forgetting, girl, the, I, that's why I said, like, I be trying to give Atlanta the benefit of the doubt. But when I look at these other cities, like, for example, Los Angeles, we know that Los Angeles had made the number one, like, took the number one spot as far as, like, COVID. I think it was, like, back and forth between New York and Los Angeles, right? So the simple fact that these girls got me not even thinking about COVID lets me know that, girl, something going on down there with that production in Atlanta because everybody else is, t is moving on like ain't nothing happened. If, who was that? I think Lisa, whoever made that comment about COVID surges, if they wouldn't have even mentioned that, I wouldn't have even thought about COVID or that they were filming this, you know, when I guess the, the COVID deaths and all that stuff was high. Anyways, so Harry is in the kitchen cooking. He basically told Lisa, you a nasty bitch, get another, get another spoon. She was in there tasting it. And he was like, oh, I need to say it, girl. Um, basically, he just asked her, can you please get another spoon? She was like, oh, I almost forgot. That's another reason why I don't be liking to eat people cooking. Because I have literally seen people like on cooking shows. Like they will taste. Like I've seen them like taste whatever they're preparing for, like the, for the, for the contest, whatever they're doing. And like, 
not use a different spoon. And I be looking like, y'all are so nasty. Even if you do a look, girl, that's the, I know. No, no. Anyways, so Dorit. Dorit has a, uh, what, $8,200 bag that look like it's big enough to only carry a girl, one girl, American Express, and girl, a tube of lipstick. I guess that's all you really need. Girl, your eight, your, your girl, your black card and a tube of lipstick, hello, and maybe a condom. Um, and she married, and I, so I'm assuming they don't use them no more. I mean, because half of the people that ain't married, girl, girl let me show. Um, Cow, I did not know Cow had a baby when she was 19 years old. Um, so Kathy, they all arrive at the party or at Lisa's home. Harry has decorated the table, girl. He in there cooking, girl. Lisa, you got you a good man, girl. Girl, from what I can see, you got you a good man. He don't buy. He seems like he don't bother nobody. Girl, he don't mind cooking. He like, girl. <laughs> let me show. Up. Okay, so, um, Kathy. Kathy calls Sutton Thomasina. Sutton didn't say nothing. And again, to what I was discussing earlier about a comment I seen online, basically saying the reason why Sutton won't say anything to Kathy is because she knows not to come for Kathy because Kathy probably is that girl <laughs> within Beverly Hills. And so I know I can't come for her. Like the same energy that Sutton has for Crystal, I really think she should have that energy for Kathy because the truth of the matter is, whether you like it or not, and I think, and I'm going to put myself in that in that group too. Violate is a strong word. And I think that for a lot of us, when we think of violate, we think of like somebody violating you, right? However, Crystal did use the word correctly. You just don't like the word that she used. However, she didn't use the wrong word, right? You should be mad at Kathy, too, because Kathy is the one who calling you Thomasina. And she done called you that twice. And both times, you ain't said nothing to Kathy, Sutton. But you got all this smoke for Crystal, but Crystal ain't calling you a peeping Tom or a slash Thomasina. That's Kathy Hilton. And you ain't said nothing to her. Because quarters is kept, Kathy run those girls. And they know it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Shout out to Kathy Hilton. Um, Garcelle. I'm sorry, Garcelle. Garcelle needs a stylist. Garcelle look a mess. Season three. Uh, who, if you do have a stylist, they're doing a horrible job. Half of the time I, that, what Garcelle got on, I don't like. Like that confessional look with that 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 lavender bluish wig with the, the I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't like how she pulled up with that Fendi hat. With the, with, with the fur around the <laughs> girl. I was like, girl, where is you going? I don't like nothing going to sell me having on. I don't. Um, so Crystal got Garcelle a ring. And you could tell that something was bothering Sutton. At first, I was like, oh, girl, she mad. But then she let us know that she basically can't sit across, across the table from someone who she doesn't like. Um... Oh, Cal went and asked her, basically, girl, what's tea? What's going on? Um, Sutton says Crystal never apologized to her. I know some people don't like Crystal. Some of y'all told me y'all don't like Crystal. But I don't understand why does, what does Crystal have to apologize for? What? What does Crystal have to apologize for? I, again, I think that it is weird that Sutton want to have her foot on Crystal's neck, but she giving Kathy a free pass when Kathy is calling you a peeping Tom to your face in front of everybody. <laughs> um, so, anyways, the girls, I guess, the girls here, not I guess, the girls hear some noise because at this point, Kyle has taken Sutton to the to the bar, and the other girls are still there, still there while while um 
Garcelle is unwrapping her presents and doing all that good stuff, right? And so they hear some commotion, like, what's going on, girl? They sound like they're getting loud, so they thought that they were arguing. But I just think it was sudden, you know, you know when you start getting excited, your voice starts to go up, and girl, now all of a sudden, you thought you was whispering, and it's like, girl, fuck that bitch! It's like, girl, you talking loud, girl. <laughs> So anyways, um, they go over to see what's going on. Sutton is like, you know, my, my allergies know I'm not crying. When Sutton got that <laughs> when Sutton got that big bottle of Kettle One and started pouring her a drink, I say, baby, <laughs> baby, this thing nerves are bad, girl. So anyways, she says, basically, people are going around acting like things are hunky-dory. Something like that. And then, Kathy, girl, Kathy, I don't care what y'all say. Kathy have to be on pills and wine. Kathy said, who is hunky-dory? Who is hunky-dory? <laughs> Kathy be in her own world. Kathy be in her own world. Do y'all hear me? Anyways. So, Erica is looking at the other girls like, these bitches are still fighting, right? Like, at this point, it really is kind of like, girl, while I do agree that Crystal, even though the girls were bringing it up to you, that doesn't mean that you had to talk about it. You could have let it be what it was going to be, right? Well, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's over and done with. But every time someone asks you about it, from what I can remember in the flashbacks, correct me if I'm wrong, Crystal, you were talking about it. Even though they were coming to you, I believe, from what I can remember. But nonetheless, you still talked about it, right? Um, <laughs> so Sutton is talking, right? Uh, Garcelle, is, Garcelle wants Sutton to basically get it out. Let it be, like, talk, like, put it out. We tie, like, are we still talking about this? So, Crystal is giggling. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Crystal. I know some, I know, I, I think, I think, I think the vote is still, I think the jury is still out on Crystal for a lot of people. Well, no, the jury has come back. I think, it's, I think for what I see, it's like 50-50 with Crystal. I think, I, I, not I think, I love Crystal. <laughs> I love Crystal. I'm here for Crystal. I hope, definitely hope she comes back next season. I love the fact that that bitch ain't apologize. That's the problem with people. That's the problem with people, right? We force people into apologizing, and then when they don't apologize the way that you think that they should have apologized, then we say it wasn't genuine. Duh, Sherlock, like, you, we force people into saying I'm sorry. And Crystal is letting the girls know I'm not saying I'm sorry. Like, at this point, like, I didn't bring it up. Like, why are you still mad at me, girl? We let it go. Like, I've already, I already let you know I'm not changing the word, Right? And you're still harping on the word. But again, your ass ain't got no smoke for Kathy. This bitch over here done called you a peeping Tom twice. Like she literally greeted you and called you Thomasita. Girl. Anyway, so Marcel grabbing bottles, pouring drinks. Sun grab girl. At this point, everybody just grabbing a bottle and pouring a drink. Girl, so, so girl, I don't know what it was about Crystal telling Sun that she just jealous of her. Girl, so for some reason, that set Sutton off. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants. Girl, I said white women. Girl, that could have been no. That could have been no black women, baby. Because Chris, girl, jealous of what? Bitch, ain't nobody worried about you and them fucked up pants you got on. Girl, that's how we would have said it right. Anyways, so girl, Chris was standing there with her hands in her pocket, basically, <laughs> basically giggling. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm team Crystal on this. Like, y'all know I love me some Sutton. I have been team Sutton since last year. But Sutton, girl, you are act like you really are acting like a rich white woman. Like, you really are. Like, girl, you really are acting like a rich white woman. Girl, nobody needs to apologize to you because quiet as it's kept, Crystal didn't do anything to you. Yes, everybody probably does think that when, when people say the word violate, I think that a lot of our minds go towards something sexual, right? 
However, it still doesn't take away from the fact that, girl, we probably just wrong in the way that we're thinking. Crystal did not use the word in a, in a wrong way. She didn't. In an incorrect way, she didn't. We just don't like, you just don't like the fact that she said the word violate and you want her to take it back. And she's standing her ground and like, bitch, no, I'm not. We can go on to something else and talk about something else, but I'm not taking the word back. Crystal better not apologize. She better not apologize next week. She better not, she better not apologize before the season is up. She better not apologize at the reunion. And that was pretty much it, y'all. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. All right. Have a good one. See you tonight. Bye.